My name is Millicent Kemutogikeni. I stay in Giwa. We were resettled by the government here in Giwa, but we are IDPs from Mawingu. And how we came to be IDPs is from the skirmishes which we had in 2007, December 28th, after the elections were announced. It started our, in our place, it started in November because that was when the campaign started. Okay, they were saying if, you're, if you don't belong, if you won't vote for ODM, you just move. But most people said we won't move because it is our own right to vote. We, okay, in Rift Valley we have many tribes. We have Kikuyu, Kisi, Kalenjins, Kambas, all the, those tribes. But it affected mostly the Kikuyus, the Kisis, the Luos, because we were told to move because they say Rift Valley was theirs. Most women and men ran away and they burned houses. Some were tied. I can remember there was a man who was tied put in the mattress and being rolled and burned there. And when we were, we were getting out of Cape Kalion, they had dug some trenches. And if they dig those trenches, you cannot pass. Because if the car comes to that trench, it, if, if it's stuck, they come and attack you. There in Rift Valley, we, they use arrows. So those arrows, they, when they pierce you with those arrows, you, I don't, you swell the whole body and die were directed by the army, army people and they brought us to Nakuru showground. That is where we stayed for a year. Many problems arise before we were settled in the showground because we stayed in the arena and things, many bad things happened. Some didn't have anything but Red Cross and the Red Cross and the UN people entered and helped the people. We didn't stay there for long because the government gave us 10,000. 10, they compensated us 10,000. And they told us, if you get that money, go back where you came from. But deep in our heart and mind, we said, how can we go back where we came from and yet we don't have anything? And how will we start with that money? Because it won't help us in any way, in business, even in whatever we want. So people decided to come as a group. We had our chairman, Peter Karyuki, who said, we buy a shamba back in Nyaururu, then Nyandarwa, and people gave those 10,000. We were almost, we were over 3,000 people, who members who gave, over 3,000 who gave the money to be bought the shamba. We bought that shamba, and then we, were, we went and stayed there. Okay. okay, back, okay, I can say, from the time when we came from showground, there was, there was a uh, dispensary at showground. But when we went to Mawingu, there was no dispensary, nothing was there. We had to go to Gilgil, there for, the, for them to be treated and uh, all Kalau. So you had to walk. And if you can walk even, it was eight kilometers from Mawingu to, Nan to Nyandarwa, to all Kalau there, to, for to, you to be treated. And that is when we had some of the volunteers like volunteers and missionary hospitals came in and they used to come sometimes once a month. We had even those medical camps by the SDA church. They came even once a month. So we had many problems. In fact, there was a day in back in Mawingu, seven people died a day. But us now, when we were settled here, us in Giwa, there is a very big, big problem because even when women are in, at labor pain, it is hard for us because you have to go three kilometers to Rongai and you have to have a, picky, picky, a motorbike. And that motorbike, you have to pay it. And sometimes we don't have that money, so people have to contribute. So if they give us a dispensary here, it will help us, mostly the community, because there'll be no, that, that struggling, it won't be. For any emergency case, it will be handled easily because if we have any emergency, there's nothing here. We'll have to wait and we'll, till morning, and that is when it will be treated. So here, I think it will, be, it will help the people, even mothers who want to give birth, and even young kids who are sick. So it will help the community. We have people who have HIV and AIDS. And I pray, okay, we are requesting that any donor who is willing to support, 
If they support the dispensary, they support even the HIV and the AIDS people. We lost a lot, but we know we cannot recover it back. But from through the schools, even in the hospitals and other things, it will help us and it will bring back our minds and even our hearts that still we have life to live. We don't have to see back, but we have to focus our life and see that there is hope. It has passed and, okay, we'll, I'll just say to us, according to the community, we don't have to see what happened. We have now to be focused and see what we need and not to listen to politics more, but to see what we can do in our life and our kids so that when they grow up, they know that we have something we can do in life.